Hello everyone, my name is Jennifer Stay. This is Coloring Bliss, and today we're going to celebrate the big three, the three main coloring tools that I think everyone that is a colorist needs to master. The first being color pencil, the second being alcohol markers, and the third being gel pens. Now the great thing about once you have all three of those mastered, you can put them together and make them work as a team, and amazing, beautiful things can happen. That's where the real magic happens. So today I'm going to demonstrate that. I'm going to be doing some real-time coloring to show you how putting those three together can create magic for your coloring. Now the real-time part of this will be shared over at our coloring website. It's called Coloring Bliss and if you are at a Color Academy member you'll get access to the real-time color long where I'm going to tell you everything that I do, every step, every tool, every decision will all be laid out for you in that real-time color long. In this video I'm going to share just a few hints and tricks here and there and a lot of beautiful footage of the coloring happening so you can look forward to that. So let me show you what I have decided that I'm going to color for you. If you haven't seen my new book, this is The Coloring Essentials, A Beginner's Guide to Coloring Success. And this book is full of amazing tips and tricks and will help you become an even better colorist. I've been coloring for over 10 years now and I've taken the majority of that knowledge and streamlined it down into this book. The way this book is formatted is according to the big three that I just mentioned to you a few minutes ago, color pencils, alcohol markers, and gel pens. So I really take time to teach you how to get the most out of each of those three. And then as you get better and more experienced with your coloring, you can start combining them because you know the good things about each of them and their shortcomings and how to get the most out of all of them. So towards the back, lesson four is all about what type of colorist you are. And we have these adorable little illustrations to kind of give you a hint as to what each of these colorists are. And then in addition to this, Steve has made them available at the back of the book as a coloring page. We have it in small version and then we have them in the big version way back here on really nice mixed media paper. So this is where I'm going to be working. We're going to start right here with the therapeutic little girl and we're going to color her up using the big three in combination. So this will be a mixed media coloring page. Should be lots of fun. I can't wait to see how these turn out. So let's get started on the therapeutic girl. For the therapeutic girl, the first thing I did was use our alcohol markers as a base layer to create the main color, the lightest color in each area. After that, I went and I picked a light, medium, and dark color for the blue in her blanket. And I colored it up, trying to reflect a top left light source. Then we moved on to the cute little cat and I used some different oranges, again a light, medium and dark, to create our cat. Next I stepped into doing her hair and her skin and I used light, mediums and darks again, just being careful to try to show a good transition between the darks and the lights and I gave the crown of her head a little highlight. Final details, I came in with the blue sparkle pop pen and the pink and blue crazy pop pen to add some little details onto the blanket. Just like our therapeutic girl, the craftsy artsy girl starts out with base layers of alcohol marker. And then I go ahead and build up the color of her skin and her hair and her shirt, all with color pencils. And finally, we're going to use gel pens to make the confetti around her. She's so excited to go to that craft store and get more art supplies. <laughs> love her. I love her medium skin tone too. So pretty. For the artistically injured girl, I knew I wanted to give her a nice, beautiful, dark skin tone. So I worked hard to create this skin tone and it came together so well, especially when I added the blue hair. The two together make such a good um, pair. Now when I did her pink shirt, I filled in the dots with a Jelly Roll Stardust number 721 pen and I made the mistake of smearing my ink. Ah! 
I was so sad. <sighs> so I ended up adding additional dots onto her shirt to try to hide the smears and I think it was really successful. Okay, on to the next girl. For creatively unsatisfied, I wanted to go for some green in her hair and I gave her a bit of a more yellow skin tone and I followed the same steps utilizing the best aspects of the big three to make this beautiful little girl. I love how I did the dark green circle behind her. It really makes that lemony, limey green hair really pop. It looks really good. I love how the extroverted girl turned out. I wanted her to be bright and, you know, loud, just as loud with her apparel as she is with her attitude about life. So she's got a sparkly pink cell phone and purple hair and pink and blue. She is out for style. Now a mistake happened on the bill of the hat. When I used my Chinese white to help blend out that pink, I didn't notice that there was a little bit of yellowy green on the tip and so I had to work hard to get rid of that on the bill of her hat. And then when I finished I felt like the blue background I had created um, wasn't high enough contrast to make her pop off the page. So I used a little bit of white gel pen just to trace the left side of her a little bit to give her a little contrast and help her pop out. For the introverted girl, I decided to go with an analogous color scheme. So red, orange, orange, yellow, orange, yellows, those types of colors. So I did her skin in a nice yellowy tone. Her hair is more of a yellow orange. Use that bright yellow Olo marker for the table or whatever it is that she's peeking over. And then a nice red orangey color for the background behind her. And I just think it turned out so good. I must say it's one of my favorites and I love it. I didn't even make any mistakes on that one. I'm pretty proud of that. <laughs> All right, all six girls are done. You've seen them all as I worked on them, but I'm going to show you all six of them now. I'm quite proud of them and I kind of wish they weren't in the book. I want to like cut them out and put them on the back wall. <laughs> so we'll see if I end up doing that or not. Let's um, flip over here to the very first page that we worked on together. Like I said, all of this is in a real time color long. It took me about three four hours to color all six of them. So that gives you a, a feel for how long I've really been coloring. Wow. So here's the therapeutic girl. Really like the blues on yeah. her. She feels very soothing and loving. Love and the pink in the skin. Yeah, and, and then the little orange kitty. <laughs> so <laughs> cute. Craftsy, artsy. I love my <laughs> choice to do the yellow and the bright. Well, then you did the red, yellow, blue, you know, yeah. primary. I didn't even think of that until afterwards when I was writing all the colors out I was like wait a second I did all primary colors <laughs> perfect for that it is primary colors tend to give a very youthful very vibrant um uh, energetic feeling so that was perfect for her I think I oh. flashes there yeah it's so up. fun okay did you see it oh there you saw it for a second yeah. all right now on to the artistically injured <laughs> I must say I have never done a dark, dark skin tone that looked this good. So I'm very proud of her skin tone. Mm -hmm. And with the blue hair, it's I so think, good. You know, and I, yeah, so far that's probably my favorite one. Yeah. I love that. And she is the one that I made a mistake on with her shirt. I oh, smeared it all. And then I went in and I just stippled all the mistakes away. Those stippling dots will hide a thousand problems. So <laughs> that's how I fixed my smear problem. <laughs> <So> <laughs> and here's my creatively <laughs> unsatisfied. I went for a more yellowy skin tone with the greens. And I think she's so cute. I was going to add some white Posca paint to all of these, but I'm so happy with the way they are. I'm not going to mess with them anymore. Love her um, duo chrome on oh, her yeah, look with at that. The, the sparkle pops on her shirt. Love that. Okay, last two girls. We have the extroverted girl. <laughs> it's fun. The only real problem I had with her was on the bill of her hat. And I already mentioned that, that I made a little mistake, got some green in there and had to work to get rid of it. But you wouldn't notice unless I 
pointed it out to you. So. Let's see the flashes of that. Okay, she's got oh, yeah. a fun cell phone. And the hat. <laughs> yeah, the hat's got a little bit up on there too. And then I wanted her to pop out from her background, so that's why I added that little white line, and I think it helped oh, a lot. You know, I didn't even notice that, but you're right. I think it did help a yeah, lot. Yeah, it really did help a lot. And there's our sweet little introverted girl. <laughs> I love that I used warm colors. Like I said before, I didn't want to pick colors that made her like sad and lonely because introverted people are not typically sad and lonely. They just don't have the energy to go out and be amongst people. At least that's my take on most inverted introverted people that I know. They're very happy people. They just, they don't feel like going and socializing. <laughs> so that's why I wanted her to look um, warm and happy but yet she's a little shy. nervous and shy. <laughs> so it's very perfect, I think, that color scheme. Although it does keep making me think McDonald's, and now I really <laughs> want French fries. <laughs> I love McDonald's French fries. So that is the six girls that I colored. It was so much fun. Remember, if you want to do the real-time color along with me with downloadables for each of these coloring pages, follow the link in the video description. And one one more thing I have to remind you about is our huge, big, the big three giveaway. Steve's going to put a picture up here for you to remember that we're giving away the full set of Prismacolors, that huge set of Jelly Rolls and the Pentel Sparkle Pops, and a large set, I think it's 32 colors, of the Olo markers. And everybody who wins, you also get a copy of my new book, The Beginning... Okay, How, what's the name of it? The Coloring Essential. Essentials, <laughs> a guide for a beginner's, beginner's guide, guide to coloring success. <laughs> I know the word beginners was in there. So follow the link and get your entries in. The winner is going to be chosen um, the morning of the 15th. So you have until September 14th, 2022 to get all your entries in. So make sure you do that because I want one of you, of course, three of you are going to win those, those three awesome big prizes. Very cool. Thanks everyone. Make sure you come and learn about the Coloring Academy. Learn how to color like this. Come and watch the full-time color longs. There's so much going on at Coloring Bliss. Thanks for watching everyone and have a wonderful, colorful, blissful day. Bye-bye <laughs> everyone. Say bye Rosie. We've been sitting here for a long time. It's time to go do something else. Bye-bye. Huh? <laughs>